let's give 5.2 uh, 5.2 now uh, determine the value of the following expression uh, without using a calculator so we have cos of uh, 90 plus theta divided by uh, sine of uh, theta um, minus 180 degrees plus 3 sine of uh, minus theta right so when i get a problem like this i actually put it in the calculator first right so that i can get an answer and instead of just solving i'm now actually proving so if you put this expression uh inside of a calculator right instead of theta you just put any number between 0 and 90 right so you can put uh, 3 uh 3 uh 3 here right if you do that <coughs> you're gonna find out that uh this thing will give you 1 divided by 4 right <coughs> So when you solve this problem, if you end up not getting 1 divided by 4, you have clearly done something wrong, which will get 1 divided by 4, right? So let's, you know, go ahead and solve a problem and see what happens. So this will be a question. So we have cos of uh, 90 plus theta, right? So as soon as we see cos of 90 plus, right, we know that uh, that's going to change to sine, right? Let's just put that in mind first. Uh, but then is cos positive? or negative in the second quadrant because we have a 90 plus right so we move in into the second quadrant uh cos is negative because uh cos is only positive on the first and on the fourth right so here we're gonna have minus but cos is gonna change into sign so we have minus sine of uh, theta right and then divided by you know sine of theta minus 180 degrees so sine of theta we here in the first quadrant right uh, because that is just theta. So if we minus 180 from theta, right, we go going to end up uh, in the third quadrant, right? Uh, why are we saying we're going to end up in the third quadrant if you minus 180 from theta? Theta, it's a number between 0 and 90, right? If you minus 180 from a number between 0 and 90, your answer will be between 180 and 270, right? So sine of theta minus 180, we're gonna end up in the third quadrant, right? Is sun is sine positive or negative in the third quadrant? Clearly, it is negative because sine is only positive on the first and the second, right? So here we're gonna have minus sine of theta, and then we have uh, plus three sine of uh, minus theta, right? So we can just uh, pull uh the minus out there if we pull the minus out you're just gonna have a minus three uh sign of theta right and there isn't much we can do there right we just have a minus three sign of theta so if we go ahead and solve this we're gonna get uh minus sine of theta divided by minus sine of theta minus three sine of theta so that will be minus four sine of theta right uh sine of theta and sine of theta cancels out so we just left with uh, 1 divided by 4. Like we had uh, said that we're supposed to have. Yeah, now let's let's do 5.3. Let's do 5.3. So we have 5.3. So 5.3 saying that uh, determine uh, the general solution of the following equation. We have uh, cos of x plus 2 sine of x multiplied by 3 sine of 2x minus one being equal to zero so <laughs> if you multiply in two numbers and you get in zero then one between the number one between the two numbers must be zero right like it's given so now we can see that uh cos x plus two sine of x should at least be equal to zero right if it's not then three sine of two x minus one should be equal to zero yeah, one must be cos to zero, right? If we, you know, take two sine of x to the um, uh, right hand side, then we can divide both sides by cos of x and end up getting tan, right? Uh, so let's do that. If we do that, we're gonna get uh, cos of x being equal to minus two sine of x, right? So if we divide both sides by cos, right, we're gonna get one being equal to minus 2 sine of x divided by cos of x that will be uh tan of x right so minus 1 divided by 2 is equals to 
uh, is equals to one is equals to turn of x right it's equals to turn of x uh, so let's note here that we're getting turn of x being negative right is going to be important as we solve our problem going further let's note that the turn of x is negative right so we know that we're supposed to use the quadrants where turn of x is uh, negative right so now we're going to say um, x is equals to uh, turn arc of so here uh, we're just going to use one divided by two right without the negative side we're just going to use one divided by two without the negative sign right uh, if we do that we're gonna get uh, 26 point uh, five seven uh, degrees right so um, yeah now let's let's move to the let's move to the other equation and solve that and then when we get to this step then yeah we're gonna carry on so if we solve uh, that part of the equation we're gonna get um, 3 sine of 2x uh, being equals to 1 so uh, sine of 2x is equals to 1 divided by 3 so 2x um, so 2x is equals to sine arc of 1 divided by 3 so let's uh, note this again we have 1 divided by 3 right uh, which is positive um, so we want quadrants where sine is uh, positive uh, in this part of the equation but let's just you know take note of that so if we say sine arc of 1 divided by uh, 3 we're gonna get uh, 2x uh, being equals to so we have 2x being equals to 19.47 uh, degrees right uh, so now yeah we <laughs> we are where we are let's um go ahead and solve tan right so for tan uh let's have our general solutions uh for tan right so we're gonna say that x uh is equals to so one of our general solutions right uh one of our general solutions x is equals to so we're saying that we want quadrants where tan is uh negative right uh, turn is negative on the fourth and on the second, right? So let's start with the second. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna say uh, on the second we have 180, right? So we're gonna say uh, 180 minus the critical angle, which is 26.57, right? Plus K multiplied by uh, the period of turn which is 180 right k being an element of uh integers right um and then yeah now we have done uh the second quadrant so uh, we can say this is equal to so 180 minus 26.57 uh will give us 153.43 plus k multiplied by 180 uh, k being uh, some integer right uh, being some integer of choice and then the second um, general solution uh, x is equals to so where is tan negative also tan is also negative on the fourth quadrant right so we're gonna have 360 minus the critical angle 26.57 plus k uh, multiplied by 180 and then yeah um, k being an element of some integer so if we see uh, 360 minus uh, 26.57 um, we shall get what should we get we should get 333.43 plus k uh, multiplied by 180 period of time right uh, where k is the element of uh, integers right and then now we are done with that part we can move to uh, the part where we had the sign right so uh, the general solution uh, for that part where we had the sign now we're gonna have uh, the first one uh, x being equals to so look here uh, where what we circled here right we want quadrants where sign is um, is positive right uh, is, this is not x here, it's supposed to be 2x. So we have 2x being equal to. Uh, so in the first quadrant, uh, we just use the angle as it is, right? Uh, so here we're just gonna have, uh, what do we have? 19, uh, so we have 19.47 uh, 
uh, plus k multiplied by uh, the period of sign right what is the period of sign the period of sign is uh, 360 so we have 360 uh, k an element of uh, some integer right uh, so what you want to do here uh, we have two x right so we're going to divide throughout by two so that we can have uh, the value of x if we do that we're going to get x uh, being equals to so 19.47 divided by 2 should be 9.735 plus k and then 360 divided by 2 that should be 180 right k is still an element of some integer right so that's uh one of the solutions and then now uh let's move to uh, the second quadrant because sign is also positive there if we move there we're gonna get uh 2x being equals to uh, 180 minus the critical uh 19.47 uh, plus k multiplied by 360 uh, k being an element of uh, some integer right and then um, so yeah we can just divide by 2 throughout right even though we still have 180 minus 19.47 there so if we divide by 2 throughout we're gonna get x uh, being equals to so we have 180 minus 19.47 divided by 2 uh, which is uh, giving me 80.265 uh, plus k uh, 360 divided by 2 that's 180 and then uh, we know that k is an element of uh, some integer yeah let's do 5.4 and 5.5 .5, uh, on a separate video right uh, this one is already uh, too long